Hello! I am hot. I am not long in from work. I haven't got changed yet. But we have an unboxing! And I can't I can't wait around for these. I can't. Um so yeah, this is um the Z Vox for July. And so I got it. Sorry, plates. I um I had been getting Z Vox like originally when it first came out and I kind of like no it got to a point where I was like I don't think it's worth it for me anymore. Um so I stopped getting it for a while. And then it's kind of been picking up recently. I've been watching a lot of Joe Warlock and he um he he's been getting he's kind of it, it's not one of his favourites either, but you know, looking at what he's getting, he's like, oh that's not too bad. And then I saw like the email and it was like um because <clears throat> I'm still signed up like for the emails and stuff and they said, Hey, um so uh, this this thing we're kind of going to relaunch. It's um the theme this month is sci-fi, and they like they don't really give spo um, spoilers for what's in the box, but they do give you a hint like they tell you some titles. And there was Back to the Future and Jurassic World and Futurama and I can't I can't remember there was something else. I can't remember what that other title was, but I thought well this is all stuff I like, so it should be a good box. And then they had a discount code, so basically I signed up for the three month package. Um, if you get just month by month, it's twenty pounds or nineteen ninety nine, and then um, depending on if you get the three twelve, uh, three six or twelve month, then it goes down accordingly. Um, in order to take advantage of the voucher code, I got the three month package, which I think is eighteen ninety nine or seventeen ninety nine. But the code basically meant I got this for ten pounds. We're already on, we're already on a good start. <coughs> Excuse me, <clears throat> but then. I got. <coughs> excuse me. See, oh, hang on, one second. One second. I told you I just got in from work. <sighs> With lime, nice. Um, I got an email saying, um, yeah, sorry, there's been a problem with one of your items. But we're gonna replace it, you know, with something better. In fact, we're gonna replace it with even more items. So you're getting six items, and it might be two boxes. So getting extra items, so that's good. So all this, regardless, before we've even opened it, all of this is £10 to me. And one thing I will say about Zavi that I've no, um, I haven't noticed with other boxes, is with other boxes that I've looked at, if you like sign up for the 3, 6, 12, whatever, it does seem to me that they say, okay, you'll be saving X amount per month if you get this bundle, but you have to pay like 100 plus all in one shot. And it does seem like with Zavi, um, you are paying, yeah they give you the, the, the discount but you still pay month by month you know, depending on the rate you're paying so I think that's that's a big tick in the plus column for them um, but yeah so they said there'd be two boxes there's one big box so what I'm thinking is either they put both boxes in the same one or I'm giving the sound of it there might be something loose in the brown box and then the regular box inside that which is why I haven't opened it yet you can see it's still all sealed up so, let us take a look inside. Ooh. I would show you me opening this on camera, but it's really awkward to do it on camera. But you saw it sealed up. You know what, a, you know what I'm zipping a box looks like. Uh, there we go. Okay, all right, okay. Um, it is, it is two boxes. So we've got the little box, and another box. Um, this one's heavier. With um, Z box, it is always usually a T-shirt, which is usually pretty good quality. We'll go with the little box at first, because that might be the uh, the bonus box, and also it's lighter. So let us open it up. Ooh, excuse me, and see what's inside. And it is. Whip. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Um. First things firstly, we have Planet Express Ship Futurama. It's a Loot Crate ex exclusive and it's a QM Masters, uh, Mini Masters vehicles. So yeah, look at that. The mini model, so exclusive from Loot Crate. Um, and QMX are really good. They um, did my lettered figurine. Um, so let's have a look. Sorry, I'm. Um, 
to, I, I've got to remember not to be too overexcited. This is nice. All right, okay, let me just, it's got multiple layers. So we've got uh, the Pizza Express stand. Then, oops, it's sellotaped. Looks like it's magnetic. That magnet there, so I'm guessing that goes uh, thusly. Yeah, there it all lines up. We've got that goes there. And then the ship herself is in here. And there we go. Look at that. I, I'm not... I don't dislike Futurama, okay? But it's not one of the shows I watch regularly, but it is a show that when it's on, I will watch it and I do enjoy it. It's just not never one I've tuned in for. But I, um, yeah. I should. I should watch more of it. And uh, yeah, just clips on with the magnet. How cool is that? Not a bad start. <laughs> um, next up, we have our Jurassic World item, which is the Jurassic World coin. And I try to remember if we already have one of these. I'm not sure if I do, but either way, I have another one now. And I'm okay with that. I don't mind having um, multiples of some items. I just wish if I was going to have a multiple or something, it'd be like a different version, like if Back to the Future coin. Because... Um, that's I like Back to the Future. Um, it's got this weird thing. Wait, there we go. It got like little things that go over its shoulder. Um, and yeah, there we go. So we, they do come in their own little boxes. So you got. Is that, I'm assuming that's blue on the front there. Um, or maybe the T Rex, but it's Jurassic World. It's more likely blue. And then the uh, Jurassic World. There you go. Logo. The Jurassic Park. Oh, it's the Jurassic Park, and it will be the um, the T Rex. Oh no, my apologies. It does say Jurassic Park, twenty fifth anniversary. See, top hot tired, so that will be the um, mother effing T Rex. Uh, what's the number on this? Uh, or it still could be a Raptor. To be fair. Uh, what's it say? They they're lethal at eight months and. I do mean lethal. So it is a raptor, it's just not blue. Uh, two, 2972? I don't know. Let's think. But yeah. There we go. So we've got the coin. And it does come in a little plastic container to keep it nice. So that's cool. I, I like a collectible item. And that is very collectible. Uh, ready then. Next up we have. Oh, sweet! <laughs> Um, okay, it's just a t it's just a mini torch. It's a it's um an LED Iron Man mini torch thing. Oh, sweet! But okay, some people think like you know, key rings and such or such are like filler items. Okay, I'm not going to argue that point. But look, it may be a filler item, but it's a cool filler item. And this is probably worth about a fiver. So don't don't knock it. I mean, what we're looking there. Probably five of the keyring, the coins collector's edition, so I think they go up for at least 1020. The QMX figure, I don't know, again, probably 1015. And we're only on the little box. Let's try and see what's in the big box. Right, let me just uh, throw things. Let me just throw things so they stay. Alright, and the big box. I haven't done the big box in a while, so it actually becomes exciting again. Ooh, t shirt. Alright, t shirt's at the top. Okay, alright then. So we have, oh, oh, oh yes, oh this is so beautiful, I am very, very extraordinarily happy about this. For Back to the Future being one of my favourite franchises, I don't actually have that many Back to the Future t-shirts, because I can never find designs I like, but check that out, oh they're so beautiful, Hill Valley Hoverboard Champion, uh, October 21st, yeah 2015. Look at that! Look at those colours! It's, it's so retro. It, it's, it's you know, so so 80s for something that is like about only three years ago, technically, but that is, I'm, I'm extraordinarily happy with that. I will be wearing this one a lot. Yep, like the t-shirt. We are, t-shirt's about a tenner, so already we are on to winners. Um, Disney Star Wars. Ooh! 40 page notebooks. Um. So these look like they are, I'm not going to unwrap them, 
But these look like are just like exercise books for school. Uh, that's lined with grey paper. Um, yeah. So we've got um, Princess Leia on one side and Darth Vader on the other. And I really like these designs. Um, actually, it should be that difficult to unwrap them. Oh, there you go. Slide it off. Uh, some people don't, again, um, people don't like, you know, think stuff like this stationery is filler. Again, I'm not going to dispute that um, point, but these are really pretty. And you always need notebooks, you always need something to write on. So we've got Darth Vader on the front, and Join the Dark Side on the back, and Princess Leia, and then May the Force be with you. And inside is just, you know, geometric designs in grey lined paper. There's a Star Wars one. And, yeah, same on the back. Uh, yeah. Okay, um, <clears throat> same designs, but the paper's darker. Um, like, so you've got light side, dark side, geometrics. Which is quite neat. So yeah, uh, notebooks, I like them, probably again about fibre. So we're already making our money back. Ooh. Okay, another Star Wars item. Which I'm always a bit, is we going to do two of one item? Oh, but this has got some weight to it. This has got some weight. Touch activated on off function. I've seen these before. It is a Ray light up canvas poster. Touch activated on off function. I don't know if it's got um, light, a battery in it or if it will need. These things run off USB. Uh, yeah, there we go. So, um, but I should be able to get this run off my computer. If I can, if I can get it, so I don't have to open it all, but just enough so I can get the cable. And still keep it nice. Um, there's no, there's no piece of paper. There's no um, thingy in this to give me a checklist, which I quite like that in um, Geek Gear. I like the fact you get a list and you can double check and look at the prices. Um, but yeah. I'm I'm happy with this. We've got the keyring, the the books, the exercise books, the pizza pizza planet model, the Jurassic World coin, the amazing Met the Future T-shirt, and this light up picture, which I'm trying to sort out for you now. Okay, so that goes there. Um, so yeah, not a bad box. I will, like I said, I've signed up for three months, so I will can be continuing. Sorry. Um, whoops. I will be continuing with the um, three months at least. It says touch, but I don't know where you're supposed to touch it. Oh, is it? No, it's just the canvas. Is there like a button? I don't want to like press it too hard and then split the canvas. Uh, hmm. So I do actually have another one of those light up canvas that my sister got me for my birthday um, with prongs. Oh, hang on. We are, are we littered? Oh, yeah, we are littered. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Yep. So does it, oh. Yes. Yes. In, may the force be with you indeed. I mean, that would look even crisper in the dark. But it's still daytime, so that is so nice. Yep, I approve. So just um, just to see, does my prongs do that? Because I wasn't sure where my um light for that was. So yeah, um, USB obviously comes provided, or it does do battery, and then you just hang it up where you wherever you. I'm I'm liking this. I um I never said before. Star Wars for me is one of those things that I enjoy it. Um, it's it's you know it's been there my entire life, and I have seen all the movies to date. Well, I haven't seen Solo. We didn't get, didn't get to see that, but oh, didn't didn't see Solo. But uh, yeah, um, 
so far I, I do enjoy all the films. I'm not so I'm not a big fan of the prequels, but I'm not one of these self-entitled fan persons that goes on and on about how oh it's not right and it's not what I wanted, therefore it's wrong. There you go, this is what my sister got me. And yes! That is awesome. These are so cool. I've so they're not quite um thematically linked. Um but I've got a couple of these now, so in terms of glow in the dark wall art, not doing too bad. And yes, I do have the um the cable for this separately. Not sure where I've put it, but I've got it's a, it's just a normal micro USB, so I'll be fine. Um, it's more a matter of either putting the batteries in. I think they're just triple A's, double A's. Uh, ah, double A's. So yeah, you can either have it as a double A or have it powered by USB. Depends on where you're going to hang it and if you've got access to, um, you know, because I mean, you're either going to have it access near up to a, a power port, which is fine, or you're going to be um, running your batteries, which is probably not so good, or you have a power bank, which means you'll have to keep charging up the power bank, but you can do that overnight, so no biggie. But either way, if you're going to keep charging your power bank, I'll just have it near a power point. So, um, yeah, didn't get this today. This this was a present from my sister. Um, but we got this one. And I'm really happy with that. I need to find somewhere to put... I need to, I need to really look at these walls and see if I can put some of this art up. Because, uh, like I said, you know, stuff like this is really cool. So we've got the ray picture, which does just tap on and off which is really cool. We have uh, the coin, which is also very nice. We have uh, the light up um, torch, which I don't care. I don't care if it's filler item. I like it. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, we've got the notebook, which again is a filler item, but still very smart. It's not like it's like a plain boring one. It's actually really nice paper. Uh, so we've got book, keyring, coin, picture, Awesome, awesome t-shirt. Loving the t-shirt. And this amazing Pizza Planet delivery ship item. So um, yeah, this has been a really good haul. I'm really chuffed with this. Uh, obviously, like I said before, I I don't know what the problem was, was with the item. I don't know which ones are the replacement items. Um, but Jurassic, like I said, Jurassic World was on there, so this is probably gonna, what it was. Future Arm was on there, so this is definitely what it was. And Back to the Future was definitely listed. So... On that logic, the replacement items are these. And given the fact that this is one of the replacement items, I'm really happy with that. And yeah, these two are filler, but they're still really nice. Um, so yeah, well done Zedbox. I will definitely get the next couple of months, see how I get on with those, see if I still think they're worth the value. And um, otherwise, I guess I'll make my decision in the three months if I want to continue it. Um, but yeah, like I said, they do, it is monthly payments of the lower amount rather than a big bulk payment at the beginning of the year. Which, if you've got the money, if you've got the money to do a hundred plus payment at the beginning of whichever, you know, whenever you start it from, then awesome, great, do that. You've you've made your payment, you've done it, it's out of the way, you haven't got to worry about it for another year, and they should email you to say, hey, don't forget your payment. You're like, cool beans. Um, but otherwise, yeah, having the reduced rate but still go monthly, I think it's probably the better way of doing it. Um, but that, yeah, like I said, if I had the money, I probably would get a year subscription. But what I'd like to do if I had the money is each month get a new yearly subscription for a new box, um, to give it a go, so eventually we'll have like at one point we will have 12 boxes and then it'll taper off again, unless I want to keep them up. Um, that's that's an idea, but it's having that money to spend in the first place. But yes, I am happy with this box, I think this is very pretty. Um, I think this is awesome. I think I, I am hugely biased, but I think this is my favorite item, and I've not got a problem with that. Um, this is a close second just because it's really pretty really really well done and like i'm pretty sure this is quite expensive as well and uh does it go the other way it does so you can have it go either way and then um 
coin. The coin is very cool. I like the coin. Um, yeah, all right, I'm waffling now. I'm hot, I'm sticky, I need to get a wash. Um, but yeah, I just couldn't, I couldn't sit around and wait to do the unboxing. I thought, oh, I'm gonna do it, I wanna see what it is, and I've got to tidy up. So, um, yeah, um, you feel free to follow me on Twitter if you so desire. Um, thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Um, check out my vlogs, because they're, um, they're fun. I sing in the, in the one below, like this is, this is the last one I just did. Um, so if you want to hear what my singing voice sounds like, then um, please do go um, hide in the corner. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I've been Michelle. Give me listening and I will see you next time. Bye!